So we'll go ahead and move forward to Ms. Tanya Blaze. She's our Director of Disabilities, and uh, she will be discussing some information about our testing center and our disability services. So Ms. Tanya, whenever you're ready. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm very excited to get to talk to you tonight a little bit about our testing center and also about disability services. So um, Brandon Higgins talked a lot about the TSI earlier and he got hit most of the high points, but I'll just kind of share a little bit with you. Uh, right now, we are um, testing for the TSI through uh, Zoom. Uh, the basic way that happens is you will contact your testing um, you'll go through admissions and get your ticket, and then it is sent to me. Uh, I will uh, assign it to one of my proctors, and they will actually contact you, usually by phone, uh, to set up a, a time for you to take your test. If you're taking two or three, we do break them into three different se seating times, so that you're only really going to take one test at a time. Um, when you've established your time and day, they are going to um, send you an email. And in that email, it's going to give you all of your testing instructions, what you need to have for the day. It's going to give you the link to your Zoom meeting, and it's also going to give you your voucher number. And the voucher number is what's going to identify as your test that you're taking. Um, when you have finished, the uh, proctor will email your test scores to the admissions advisor that you uh, got your ticket from, and it'll be the person who will then help you get registered for your classes at TC. Uh, the main thing that we run into the next question is, you know, what do I need technology-wise? So um, the big thing I have to stress to you is it has to be a laptop or a desktop computer. Uh, we cannot use cell phones, iPads, or tablets. We can use a Chromebook, um, but if you're using a Chromebook, I'd really appreciate you telling the proctor that that's what you're using. We just have a little workaround we have to do with that. We prefer it to be laptop or desktop. And it needs to be uh, equipped with a webcam, uh, can be external, uh, and a microphone as well. Those things have to work and it has to be on the same computer. Um, some things you can do for us to help us out is when you get the email from the proctor, it gives you the links to test to see if your computer is compatible and will run Zoom and the uh, AccuPlacer website at the same time. So we actually send you the links and we ask that you go in and please check that before your, um, your scheduled test time. The other thing we've run into, it's not a technology thing, is you need a quiet place to test. You need to set up your environment so that um, you can focus on your test and do the best that you can. So when you schedule, try to think of when will your, your home be the quietest and do I have a place in my home I can go where I can shut the door and everybody's going to leave me alone. So we want you to be successful. So those are, um, that's a really important piece of the puzzle when you're scheduling your test. Um, and that's just... That's about the main thing I have on TSI. I will say this, this is an added bonus. Right now, until June 15th, uh, TSI uh, for our TC students is free. So if you sign up, um, typically it is $10 a test, but we will, um, we are not charging right now. So until we are back in the testing center, uh, testing fees are waived. So that's a good incentive to get in there and get this test done and get that behind you. Okay, I am also a uh, director of disability services. So I'd like to talk to you just a little bit about that while, while I'm here. Um, the main thing you need to know is who is eligible for disability services and disabilities covers a wide range of things. It can be physical, it can be mental health, it can be uh, learning, it can be any type of disability that you have that uh, you would need an accommodation in the classroom or in a testing situation. Um, one thing to remember is you must provide documentation that you have a disability. Uh, in college, one of the things students get confused on is coming straight out of high school. If you've had a documented disability in a high school situation, it travels from grade to grade with you. But when you're um, come to college, it actually stops. So in college, we say you self-declare. So you have to make sure you come and talk to me 
and I will um, sit down and we'll go through uh, what's the possible things we could do to accommodate you in college. Uh, if you're sitting there right now and you're going, well, I don't know if my disability qualifies or if I have a disability, um, all you've got to do is email me and I will um, talk to you about it and we'll see what we can do. Um, so how do you apply is the next main thing we have. And the first thing I really need you to do is to fill out the request for accommodations form on our Texarkana College website. It's pretty easy to find if you just go to the, the home page. Uh, scroll down to the bottom, there's a link called Forms, and on that Forms page is uh, the request for reasonable accommodations. You'll fill that out and submit it, and it will come to me. Um, then the next thing that's going to happen is um, I'm going to contact you, okay? Uh, more than likely, I'm going to try to call you. If you don't answer, I will shoot you an email um, and let you know that I'm trying to contact you and we will schedule an appointment. Now, hopefully when we get, you know, typically we do this in my office, but if you need to talk to me now, we can do a Teams meeting and, and discuss uh, your disability. But what I'll need you to do for me is when we have our appointment, I need you to provide uh, documentation of your disability. And that can have lots of different looks to it. Uh, it can be the formal written diagnosis from your doctor on his letterhead. It can be the actual testing results that were done. It can, if you're coming out of high school, or fairly recently, it could be your high school 504 plan, your high school IEP. If, um, if you uh, have even uh, had some work, you've done some work with Texas uh, Rehab, uh, Texas Workforce, they do a lot of testing sometimes. That can work as your documentation. So there's lots of forms and we can discuss that as well. And um, we'll get together and we'll set up accommodations for you to use in the classroom uh, and testing situations. And, and that comes in lots of different forms and they're all according to what your needs are. Um, and I believe that's everything I had down for us, but I just wanna make sure everyone knows that I'm here to help you any way that I can, uh, testing center or uh, disability services. Uh, um, my email was on the screen and they're going to show it again here in just a minute. So just reach out and call me. I am working at home, but if you call the phone number, it does, it does ring me here and I'll be glad to talk to you with about any concerns that you have. Thank you and I appreciate you letting me share it with you today. And Ms. Tanya, I believe we have a question for you. And that question is, what if I do not have access to a laptop or any type of computer? and all I have access to is a cell phone? Well, right now, we just cannot test at this time, uh, but the testing center will be opening hopefully soon. We're hoping for mid-June, uh, but as of right now, then testing is just something that we can't do. We'll just have to wait until the testing center is open. Okay, perfect. And if that, if you do find yourself in that circumstance, I, uh, this is just a suggestion. You may reach out to your local library to see if they offer um, computer access, if they are open, and if they do offer computer access, if they do have a camera. And if so, I am more than sure Miss Tanya will work around that schedule to make sure that she has somebody there that can proctor to you while you're taking that exam. Uh, so we've got lots of proctors working and we've got a very flexible schedule right now. So we can, if you can get a computer, we will get you tested. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ms. Tanya. Hi, All right. And yes, Brandon, go ahead. Hey, so um, touching on that also, um, because of the situation that we're in, um, we've been given a little bit of leniency with the state on that. And so um, it, if you don't have access to a computer, it is really important that you go ahead and contact one of our advisors. Um, and, you know, if you can't get one through one of those means that Dustin talked about, um, contact one of the advisors because we may still be able to, based on high school coursework and things like that, um, get you situated into some courses and then let you test later on in the semester. So um, if you have the ability to test 100 percent that that's what you need to do right now because it's going to save you some headache down the road um, but if there are no other options then talk with an advisor and we'll see what we can uh, work out for you all righty thank you brandon and just to uh piggyback off that uh, we basically no matter what your obstacle hurdle may be we want to help you overcome that so please do not let a uh, lack of uh, computer 
or anything like that hinder you from reaching out to us, uh, we will promise you we will try to do whatever we can to get you registered and get you on the path that you choose to seek. So please don't be scared or, or hesitant to reach out. Um, you know, that's what we're here for.